What's up, guys? Welcome back to Crypto Weekly Review, home of the Wolf Pack. This is going to be a juicy, juicy episode because we have evidence that Charles Hoskinson did front run the Sunday swap launch. We have a big, juicy Bitcoin pump, and we also have audio from a Bit Squad member that is being threatened to get sued by someone who got rug pulled by one of their projects. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into these charts. <laughs> you be all sus. Yeah, I just doubled up on crypto. I just double down on the new vest. Now my chair looking like two checks. Type of money made me want a two step. Who next? This week I be on the moon next. Stop going up like two X. That's a fast flip like suplex. Two really stepping like a duplex. You bet. Never lose change, but I do flex on it. Really weak sanctions against Russia and the Ukrainian war has created quite the bounce in traditional stock markets. The euro markets are up 3 to 5%. The NASDAQ is pumping. The S&P is pumping. So all hail Putin because this is the best trading day of 2022. Although that is a beautiful candle, we are still in a daily downtrend on the NASDAQ. We are below the 21 exponential moving average and you can see it is a confirmed downtrend as it has rejected the line. Bitcoin on the daily chart is following the stock market. It is pumping as a risk on asset and it is also below the 21 exponential moving average. I really don't trust this right now. I'm just taking the sit and wait approach, trading this volatility. This is insanity right here. Trading this volatility will absolutely get you destroyed. And the situation in Ukraine seems to be escalating. I really hope that we can solve this diplomatically, maybe call a truce, a ceasefire, because innocent people are getting hurt in this matter. I really want to see it resolved and very quickly. As far as Bitcoin goes, really, it's our last piece of freedom that we have. Really, it's the last exciting thing in the world. The whole world is just a clown world show at this point. 2019 was one of my best years. I was traveling Asia. I was traveling Costa Rica. And then... Guess what, <laughs> We got absolutely lied to and manipulated by the media and the politicians. We have been in a state of anarchy since then. I don't recognize this world anymore. We had the riots, lockdowns, corporate censorship, inflation, war, and the rise of thought culture. <laughs> Speaking of which, the adult film actress Lana Rhodes apparently abandons her NFT project after its launch. She put her celebrity status behind the CryptoSys NFT project, which launched on January 22nd and raised about $1.8 million. The project featured a detailed roadmap explaining plans to develop a metaverse, wearables, and a hangout spot. People are very, very upset about this. People are extremely upset about this on the internet and she is fighting back saying YouTubes are effing sickos, diseases of the internet who will do anything for views. She also goes to say, I have a one month old baby to take care of. Just what I wanted to do is effing scam people. Get the F out of here with this BS. Just because a project doesn't go as planned doesn't mean there was any ill intent behind this. I really hope that these people actually sue her because this is an absolute rug. And what is she doing right now? Welcome to my ranch, hence the cowgirl hat. Well, it's not actually a ranch. I live in Los Angeles. My yard is really small. This is about the whole thing. I just can't. I don't know what's going on with her eyebrows. They're like, they're Y brows, but it looks to me like she's totally living it up. I'm growing as a person. I want to go into a new venture by myself of doing Lana Rhodes' fans are used to seeing her on blacked.com, but it is her followers that are getting blacked today. Hex on the daily chart, I was telling people to sell their Hex at 45 cents and everybody hated me. Now it has reached a low of 12 cents and what it did was it confirmed this trend line on this descending triangle. Now we need an actual pump to test the top of this trend line because it takes three touches to be a trend but it's looking a lot like a descending triangle right now with the measure move down to five cents or to a penny. However, there is some good news in the Hex ecosystem.
PulseX has come out with an update and I have been critical about them before because it looks like their first release was an exact replica of pancake swap it looked like they only put five minutes into it but this looks pretty darn good they actually even came out with the incentive token it is the xplsx so it's basically going to work like spooky swap when you stake plsx you will get the xplsx token which is going to be pumped by 0.07 percent of the trading fees anytime you can lock coins it's super bullish this looks pretty good what doesn't look good is the pulse chain github the github it looks bad there looks to be only one guy doing all the work sjb 933 this allen guy he's like a manager of some kind there was like a week where they weren't uploading anything it looks kind of dead it looks hella dead overall i am bullish on hex and if we do get that capitulation dump i will be buying because when pulse chain does launch i think that hex might reach a new all-time high ada is not getting much of a bounce and i've never really liked cardano or believed in the project and mainly it's because charles hoskinson is a scammer there is evidence that charles hoskinson front ran and dumped on the sunday swap launch and i can't go through all of the transactions but i will link it in the description box below so you can see for yourself someone placed an order before everyone else by interacting with the sunday swap contract about 10 minutes prior to the dex's launch the wallet corresponding to the swap was created a few days before sunday launch and was given millions of ada specifically to be used in the sunday swap launch the wallet was funded by a wallet with about 30 million ADA, and this other wallet was funded by yet another wallet, which currently has almost a billion of unstaked ADA, which is at the top of the ADA rich list. Charles has, of course, denied this, but if you spend 15 minutes clicking through these links, you will see that it did originate from his address and this looks to be a smoking gun so what was charles hoskinson doing when sunday swap launched well hi everyone this is charles hoskinson broadcasting live from warm sunny actually i don't have a phrase for this do we it's just austin yeah. i'm for some reason i'm having a sunday it's not even a monday or a sunday i too would enjoy a nice sweet succulent sunday as I'm dumping on all of my loyal community. Phantom on the daily chart. Phantom, as you know, is my baby. It is a baby chain and it is cute. And uh, I really think that it's going to be a big pumper in the next cycle. And it looks like it is up 8% off of this crazy war bounce. And uh, it looks bad. I mean, it's uh, below the 200 exponential moving average. That's what the yellow line is and solidly did come out. And I am providing liquidity for it, but it looks like it's a bit of a tobacco and it's really clogging and congesting phantom so i'm um, waiting for all this to blow over and then uh start earning some solid tokens because i'm bullish on that project taking another peek at block wallet that is sporting the ukrainian flag colors they had a tweet today saying your ip address and other metadata are being spread everywhere you go on the internet and leave a trace that can be used in tracking you or by malicious actors unless you use block wallet where your ip and metadata go through a privacy proxy that allow you to stay private so this is basically like a coin mixer i've mentioned it before i'm not getting paid by these guys i haven't talked to these guys i'm just really interested in privacy so this wallet will be like a metamask wallet but it's going to mix your coins so no one can really track where your funds are going or where they're coming from so mainnet for this thing is on the 28th i am going to check it out i'm a little bit nervous about it i'm not saying go buy the token i'm just saying check it out because privacy is super important as the day goes on and we are getting closer to market close and i am getting nervous a little bit i really don't like this bounce and the world is extremely unstable the war is mainly contained in eastern europe but nvidia has been hit by a potential cyber attack and they have been completely compromised according to some reports this could spread very quickly very rapidly and i just don't trust the pump yet i'm not selling anything but i'm not buying anything either i'm just eating popcorn and watching the cryptotainment 
Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Join the Wolf Pack. And by the way, I do have exclusive audio of someone from BitBoy Crypto's team who is threatening to sue somebody who got rugged by one of their projects. Yes, when people got rug pulled, we disclosed that we promoted the project and we apologized for it. And that was in 2020. There was no rug pull projects that we covered in 2021. Do you know why? That's because I came on as a lead researcher and started vetting every single project that Ben put on the channel. His old research team sucked. And even he admits it. So I don't know what else to tell you, dude. But uh, yeah, I vet every single project that goes on that channel. And there hasn't been a rug pull since. And on top of that, we've disclosed every single promotion that we've ever done investments we've disclosed every single project that we've invested into personally uh you're you're just you're just smoking crack at this point man i, I don't know what else to say to you because uh you're accusing me of being in bali when i'm sitting here in um philadelphia so if you really want to if you really want to bring me to court so i can just destroy your life i would love it please please put this into writing uh, against BitBoy Crypto, and then put a separate court order against me, please, please do it, please, man, because I, I would love to write off on my taxes that I sued some idiot on the internet, and don't think I can't find you, because I can. You have no idea who you're screwing with, that's all I got to say.